Um, when I told uh, Jenny, uh, my partner, that I was going to speak one more time about the capital campaign, she said, oh, let me do it. So uh, she's not here. She went on a, a short trip with her dad, but she gave me something to read to you on her behalf. Uh, Joan and I have formerly been members of St. Thomas for nearly two years, and we love it. In catechism class, I learned so much about the history of our faith and its practices. I love our high and low mass services, and I've even been to confession. I myself was born into an agnostic family. However, my paternal grandmother was a loyal Catholic. Uh, when I was six months old, she offered to babysit for the day. She invited her priest over for lunch, and they baptized me in the kitchen sink. <laughs> Her grandmother's name was Esther Williams, by the way, not the swimmer. <laughs> uh, when I would accompany my grandmother to church, it felt natural, warm, and welcoming. It was an open-minded parish and quite <coughs> diverse. I loved it. <clears throat> my grandmother taught me this phrase, God, give me the comfort, courage, and strength to do your holy will. I say this to myself before I enter the waiting room to meet every client I work with as a, psych as a psychotherapist. I say this to myself every time I'm compelled to tell my adult children what to do. I say this to myself uh, if I fear the unknown. That one little phrase has kept me close to God for what has been one heck of a life. Lots of ups and downs, but always in, si in hindsight, I am grateful for all of it. I have always loved Christ. However, I don't proselytize. Occasionally, when the timing is right, I'm able to share my joy about Christ with another person. It's so personal, isn't it, to talk about our relationship with God and Jesus. I have found it fascinating to see how my faith has grown and developed over the years. I am fascinated by other people's experiences with faith. I have attended high holy day services with friends at Temple and have enjoyed it thoroughly. I practice meditation and guided imagery as well as prayer and the rosary. Are we allowed to say the ro yes, rosary? Yes, we are. Um, the, <laughs> the Eastern religions have also taught me a lot, but I am an Episcopalian Christian. I just can't help myself. St. Thomas is a place of worship for me. It is also my spiritual home base. I was confirmed here. I feel a kinship with all of our members because we are a family. When I first heard about our capital campaign, Joan and I discussed how we would participate. We both felt that it was important to try to go a bit over and beyond what we might normally give. We were able to do that because St. Thomas gives us five years, as many as five years, to pay it off. To me, giving money to the church is also a spiritual gift. Giving to St. Thomas is a way for me to demonstrate in my actions the love I have for our church, Father Davis, and our faith. Giving as much as we can within our means is what Joan and I want to do for St. Thomas. I think it's a reasonable goal to go for 100% church participation. That means all of us. I know we can do it. I really can understand that some of us can't afford to give anything to St. Thomas, but please participate by giving what little you can so that we can reach our goal of 100% participation. For others who give regularly, please consider giving to the capital campaign as a gesture of faith and commitment, like Joan and I did. And for goodness sake, we need you to give so that we can meet that goal of 100%. By the way, this is the perfect time to declare yourself a new member of St. Thomas. You'd be making a good choice. We are diverse and interesting here. We also score high on empathy, compassion, service, and love. Please join us. Then there's something about the love of my life. Uh, co uh, coming to St. Thomas services together has brought Joan and I even closer, if that's possible. I'm not going to get mushy here. After all, we are in church. Thank you for listening. I'm sorry I couldn't be here today, but I'm grateful for the opportunity to be of service. I send my love, and I'll see you all next week. Jenny. Thank you. Thank you.